In Venice, Louisiana, your fishing day can be just so epic. I mean, it's stuff that you dream about. I mean, it's nonstop action. We, we got out there, Scott, Billy, and I, we were out there for 30 minutes, caught all the bait we needed, uh, ran off short of the drill boat. We were, we were just slamming big yellowfin tuna. Scott caught that big yellowfin tuna. You know, he was up there 70 pounds, and it was an awesome, beautiful fish. Had, had the sickles on it, super jealous, and I was determined to catch one on a plug. Sim Rats into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, with Captain Scott Walker and Captain Steve Roger. So that's pretty sick to get a double like that, Captain. I know that happens all the time for you, but <laughs> for us boys down south. We chose the rods for that, that class fish, and I got one a little bit bigger, and he wore me out. It took me 45 minutes, maybe an hour. I, I don't agree on an hour. I think maybe 35 is more like it. Yeah. Probably was an hour though, right? <laughs> there's enough time for I bogarted a lot of your yeah. day, I know so, that. Yeah, there's a three DVD set coming out on that fight job there. Uh, I couldn't turn that fish or anything. I was I, I thought I was ready for uh, tuna fish and stand up, but I really wasn't. That one got me good. Well, it came and we had the fifty right behind me if I knew the fish were a little bigger. Well and that's what he was saying is some of those fish that don't fight um, right off the hard, bat. right off the bat. They they seem to be the most stubborn fish you get because they just they last the whole time. You got it, got it, go, go, go like a Get him, Walker. You going to? Yeah. It might be the same fish. I, I had a, I want, I watched one eat this one. I know, but it might be the oh, same God. fish. I, gotcha. Did you get the same bait? I think it's the same fish. <laughs> yeah, it's the same fish. Yeah. <laughs> it looked like a good one. Hey, now you got help, Scott. Captain Billy, boy. I, I'm, I'm just assisting Billy. Wanna uh, just turn the wheel to the left so we kind of, the boat turns a little bit. To the left, right? That ought to be good. We'll spin around. Sweet, I love a captain that'll catch a fish. There you go. Got a rod cush. And that just away brings us out here at these whip buggy whips. And he grabs the... He grabs the meat stick. Show you how to do it. <laughs> Mama didn't raise no fool. Uh-uh. I, I thought the first two out were just exploratory. <laughs> well, you never know what size fish they are, do you? No. I mean, you, you can guess I mean, what, at it, We but... call what? Three, four, little bitty? That, is a, whoop, that is a whooping stick right there, bud. I love it. How, how often do you actually spend the whole day out here fishing? Uh, a lot of days we don't fish at all. <laughs> it's uh, put a bait out, real fish in. Right. It's catching. Right, catching. Which is obviously the preferred. Preferred method, absolutely. <laughs> but what I'm saying is you can get it done so quick. What, it's on. What is uh, the limit on the yellowfin? Uh, li the limit is three per person. Three per person. Gotta be 27 inches curved pork length. So if you got four guys, you can keep 12 fish, and sometimes that might happen really fast. Yes, sir. But if those guys don't know what they're doing, I mean, that can be a mess. It can take so a probably... while. I mean, you know, you just saw Scott take a while. Yeah. <laughs> The three DVD set. I'm right. I'm standing right here. Oh, we just, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but what I'm saying—that's what makes it funnier. Yeah. <laughs> I thought but my technique was excellent. Your technique was awesome. Look, with tuna fishing, you never know how many times they're going to come up and bite. So take them when you can. Take them when you can. If you can get four or five of them on a the time, get them. Because you've seen yeah. them go down and then the bite. They off. will disappear, and you won't get a bite the rest of the day. Nice. Get way up on that foregrip. Let them have it. Yeah. Beautiful shot. Not going anywhere. Nice, Captain. I lasso. That was quicker than mine. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely quicker than Scott's. That's awesome, dude. Good job. You got a pair of scissors there or something? Yeah, I do. What a pretty fish, dude. I love that gold. Man, that don't it's get so old. pretty when they come up. Nice work. One more for the box. Box? Did he eat it? Or is yeah. he wrapped up? He ate that heavy leader, no problem. Yeah, he ate that 100 pounds quick. You know how I just cleaned the boat up? I didn't want to make too big of a mess. 
Sim Rads Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you in part by Yellowfin, only in a Yellowfin, Bubba Blade, the ultimate sportsman's knife, Key West, close to perfect, far from normal, and by Seagar, Under Armour, and Tailwalker Charters. We're about to do it again here. See if we can get going this way. Head back towards the rig. Okay. If we start to mark anything, I'm gonna start to get y'all to throw some baits out behind the boat. You're about to throw them far with this wind. Yeah. Get them away from the boat. Absolutely. And you like that the way. color? Yeah. Everything's cool? Yeah. I'd, I'd love to catch one of the big ones on this. Cause you know, they choke on this. And they, sometimes they, you know, you can get them a little quicker. Huh? Sometimes, You get them in a the corner, <laughs> it's just hard. The orca. I'll tell you something, that jugger's got some real hooks in it too. You ain't we, straightening them hooks out. We catch we catch tunas all the time on those. That's a that's yeah. a great bait. It got great shape to it. It looks like a flying fish to me, you know? Yeah. You want to catch one on one of these orca rigs or yeah. a popper. And I was like, you know, it's really rough out here. We don't have a lot of fish to chum with, but Billy didn't seem to think that was a problem either. Uh, well, I was seeing these flying fish uh, get up and every once in a while, and I'd see the tunas chasing them, mm -hmm. you know, surfing on the waves. Yeah, so that, just, that got in the back of your head, and that's all you... I mean, you, you threw and threw and threw that last hour, but the fishing kept getting better and better. And uh, we didn't have to have them boiling, although we did. With every blue runner we threw out, whether we knew it or not, they were gathering together. Yeah. And then you saw them, a ball the size of this table. Yeah. Once we had been throwing out for three hours, we're gathering together. And as that light got right at the end of the day, they attacked them, and every cast you made, you were getting bit. With that live bait fishing, every time you put a live bait out, you get a bite. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So there's a point where it's like, okay, now what do I do to make it uh, still interesting? You, you know, and that's why people go from uh, bait to artificial mm -hmm. to fly to wherever they take it there because of the fact that they're looking for that challenge. I'd and love it. this using these plugs is another challenge. Come on, Billy Swells, we need one on his lure. Better be quick to beat Wells with a rod, boy. That's right where he was. Follow that little one out. Cause all I want is one of the, oh, but he ain't big enough. <laughs> <laughs> That's a marlin bait though. Look at that marlin hook. Oh, I just want that 60 pounder in the air. Oh, I pulled him off. All I want is that 60 little pounder guy. Billy in the air with my lure in his mouth. That was about a, Seven pounder. There you go. Got him on. Got him on. Got him on. That's a good one. Lucky you. Lucky me. Get the slow pole, Steve. Grab the slow pole, life. Steve. Put this Came back on to you. life. Uh, just had to tie one more knot. You want to put this harness on you? Not yet. He gets to back to the stena. He <laughs> hadn't run yet. Not good. Hey, Steve. Steve. I'm in, somebody. I'm in blue. That blue line? I got it. You want me to get it? I don't know which one we're in. I don't want this one. No base downwind. Downwind. One time under me, you're clear. I like that. As far as you can, downwind. Yeah. <laughs> Marty, he's marking some tunas too. You want to get you on the it, boys. Woo, that Thanks. was how you do it, Scotty. Quick like. Coffin clear. A nice one. Yeah. Hey, he walked up on that one. He didn't like that talk about three DVD set. That was like a little vignette. <laughs> yeah, it's like uh, it hurt his feelings the first time. He, he, got, he, he got serious. See, we know that. We do that. That's what we do to get him jacked up. Come on. Where's my tuna at? Get in there, baby. Thank you. Good fish. Try, trying to catch me one on the old artificial lure. Before the storm hits. Good or work, the, good work. Or did the storm already hit? It's in the process. 
Want to see more of Into the Blue? Well, you don't have to wait for the show to be on. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or even our YouTube channel for full-length shows. We have some how-to videos, amazing pictures. We'd love y'all to come over, ask us some questions, post your own pictures, or just enjoy ours. See you there. Simrad's Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you in part by Yeti Coolers, built for the wild. Bass Pro Shops, your adventure starts here. Plano, Shimano, and Spear One Charters. Some work, baby. Good gas shot. Oh, I went to sleep. Well, look at that. Perfect hook placement. That was good. Right in the corner. Put them in the box. Let's do it again. Off and clear. Yep. Hang on, we putting some meat up in here. Come with me. I'm gonna take him for a walk. <laughs> a 39 foot walk. That's fun. I don't get to catch him very often. I just watch. I'm a spectator. Good to feel the burn every now and again, so I know what the poor people I'm picking on are feeling. All right, Steve, what we're gonna do? The way we've been fishing, it's so hard for us to throw the live baits against this wind. They're so close to the boat, they come up and hide under the boat for you to get a chance on that top water. So I'm gonna get where we're marking some fish right here. I'm gonna get right downwind of them. I'm gonna turn around and come back at them. Okay. So we can throw those baits and get them far away from the boat. Okay. And hopefully that way they won't come to the boat quite as fast. They'll swim around a little bit more and get a fit, get the tuners up blowing up on them. That's when you want to put that right there in the hole. All right, you tell me when. I'm ready. 12 o'clock. Where are the birds going? Big ones coming out of water. Right behind the boat. Right where the birds coming down. Behind this boat. Right here. Right where the birds coming down. Boom! Oh, that's sick! Get me up there! Quick! I threw it in his mouth. Get a big one? I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, he spit it. Oh, let him miss it right there. Oh! Hey, I got him behind us. They're behind us. All right, I'm coming. Ow! Hey, they're behind us. I'm, I'm coming, behind I'm us. coming, I'm coming. Where's that other lure? It's sitting right there. Good ones? That thing's little. The big ones are on the bow now. Oh. <laughs> the plug in his mouth. There's a good one right behind us. Come on. I don't know what size he is. The little one spit this out. And the big one ate it? Yeah. All right, save some. I want to catch a good one. Got bit as soon as hit the water? Yeah, but I don't think he's got much to him. You got a good one on there? 35-40. There's another one back there slamming. I had a little one on there. I gave it a shot so I could throw this at a big one. Thanks. The little one spit the lure, and then got a big one grabbed it. Come on. That's my luck. <laughs> You don't want to skip you, do you? No. Cast it again. Next scoop, you'll get another one. All right, Cat, where they at? Down underneath that frigate bird blowing up. I threw it 100 times, and then I put it down because the little fish grabbed it. And then Scott picks it up. You know what, that, that'll teach you a lesson. Don't put it down. Always follow through, son. Yeah, follow through, follow man. Through, son. I should have followed through, but you were screaming. <laughs> They're blowing up in the back. They I would have run into the back. We had them going a little bit. I know. We got a couple that. We try one more time. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Like I said. Oh, oh my lure. One in the I'm trying to turn him around, but... 
Watch that travel hook, boys. I know, I know, I know. I got another lure. You want to cut that one free? Woo get it at the dock? Yeah, it's cut, yeah, cut it free. I'll get another lure. That's just, we'll get that later. Awesome, brother. Thanks, Steve. You got it, buddy. Anytime. Anytime. Once you got your tuna quartered and loined, it's time to decide what you're going to do with it. If you're going to freeze it, it's time now to put it in these large chunks in the Ziploc bag and uh, get it into the freezer. If you're going to eat it, you're going to have some issues with what you're going to do with the shapes. On your nice, big, clean pieces, you're going to cut your steaks for the grill, just like that. Depends on how rare you want them, how thick you cut them. But then it, at the end of each loin, you're going to have odd pieces. And the odd pieces are what I use for making tuna salad. So here's one here, here's a nice tilt section we're not gonna use. Instead of just throwing them off to the side, we're gonna take these odd pieces, we're just gonna cut them into chunks, about an inch square, just like that. And then you're gonna take a microwave bowl, put these chunks right into that, Uniform doesn't matter, because we're gonna make tuna salad. It's really, really fast, quick, and we're gonna do it with the microwave instead of ble bleaching the flavor out by steaming it. So once you got your couple cups of chunks ready to go, you're gonna lightly coat those in Old Bay, and set them in a microwave safe bowl, put it in the microwave, three minutes. Pull it out, start stirring it with the fork. If it's still rare in the center, put it back in the microwave three more minutes. Keep doing three minute increments until the tuna's cooked thoroughly, then pull it out and let it cool. Add whatever you like, your onions, scallions, mayonnaise, and then boom, you have the best, freshest tuna salad you've ever had. More recipes, go to intotheblue.tv. Oh, it's That's a big hole, baby! Big hole! Simrad's Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, has been brought to you in part by Simrad. Go with confidence. Mercury Marine, number one on the water. And by Costa and Ameritrail. We're gonna give See what happens more. when you don't follow through? One more. <laughs> See you what don't happens follow through. when you don't follow through. It's like playing baseball. You got to follow through. Uh-huh. There it is. Whoop, there it is. All right, Billy, do it for me, cuzzy. Make it happen. This thing's about a medium, Walker. Yeah, I think that so. That thing you threw was huge. I have one, but it's purple, all purple. Might have been the stuff. Think it's the size? That big one, you can sling it. I, 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 if you want to swap it out, I got another one. Y'all want to? Y'all want to square everything away for the ride home? I'm going to go. Oh, it's a oh, it's That's last a big second, hole, baby. baby. Big hole. The thing about that topwater stuff is when they're up, you need to be on them. You, you know, you can't show up to the party late because you won't get a bite. So when those fish are up popping, or if you see fish busting at flying fish, or surfing the waves, you need to be on them, put the plug right in there, and you'll get a bite. It's, it's a much better uh, chance of getting a bite is if you're actually getting the lure in there while they're on top popping. I'll tell you, this, this, this lure here, it's one we were our first choice that you're throwing and throwing and throwing, is a big lure. Yeah. And it was gone. Every, every bite you got, except for the foul hooked one, it's gone. You, you just can't take your favorite lure out there. You better have six of these, because you're not getting them out in eight, six eight foot seas. No, no, no. No, the best thing is cut it free, put it in the box, let him chill out, maybe get it 10 minutes later, but it's go big or go home. I have a box full of these. Another awesome thing. There's, there's a couple things that are cool. Throwing a lure out of tuna is about as cool as it gets. You get some pretty seriously vicious strikes. When it's nice and calm, you can see them. Yeah. It'll come clean out the water eating that top water. You just feel like you put a little more effort in it when you catch them on top water, you know what I mean? <laughs> Boy, this Therese rod is sweet for casting and pulling, you know? I told you it was a big hole in the water. Awesome. Awesome. That thing.
thing's gone, baby. That lure's in there a little bit. That couldn't have worked any better right uh -huh. there at the end, huh? No. Cut him, cut him free, and I'll go throw him nice. I got, you got box? Yep. Cool. All right, put him away. Let's go home. All right, nice brother. Job, buddy. Put him in the box. Hey, thank you. That's what I wanted Absolutely. right there. Good work. That'll, that'll work. That'll do it. Over the rail and into the panel, baby. You know, even the reward of catching them, it's, it's even better when you get to eat that fresh tuna. And oh, last gosh, night. Yeah. Chef Brad put it on. Yeah. I mean, we had a great spread of what did we start out with? Some tuna ceviche? Ceviche first with fresh chips and then to the nuggets. Mm -hmm. And while we're doing that, he was prepping two inch thick steaks cooked perfectly rare. What did he have? Wasabi sesame seeds? Yes. Is that what was on there? Yes. Those little nuggets? Man, that stuff was great. And then we had it over salad. And again, all those things were so simple to do. So simple Super to cook. simple, super fresh, and absolutely the finest tasting tuna you can Well, ever there's just nothing better than working hard all day out there on the water, coming back, and being able to enjoy the fruits of your labor. You yeah. know what I mean? That's a cool thing. There's some sharpness. Woo! Thank you, brother. <laughs> That'll work right there. That'll work. Thank you, Scott. Wait, Katie, wait, Thanks, stick, wait, stick to it, buddy. We'll, we'll let you put that one in your Yeti hopper for the ride home. All right. Watch those hooks. I say we got some meat in there. That's it. That's tuna fishing, Venice, Louisiana.